Welcome to Pátzcuaro, a magic place in Mexico that experiences the Day of the Dead like no other. You're in charge of building the family altar. Decorate it with the cards that you get from the shops in town. Whoever builds the most beautiful altar will be the winner. To start a game of Pátzcuaro, place the Pátzcuaro tile upright on the table, mix up the shop tiles, and place them to the right of the Pátzcuaro tile. Shuffle the altar cards and deal six to each player. Reveal and place one beside each side of each shop tile. Give each player a player card and a player token. Beginning with the most festive player, which will be the starting player, place the player tokens on the top space of the Pátzcuaro tile. Shuffle each pedal card deck separately and reveal a card from each one. We're ready to play! Build your altar over the course of the game. Do so by exchanging cards during your trip and add them to your pyramid of cards with four in its base, three in its middle level, and two in the top one, gaining points for the items of each level. On your turn, move your token one, two, or three spaces following the path formed by the town's shops and altars. Skip the spaces occupied by other tokens. When you stop moving, take the actions of the place you landed on. In shops, pay a card from your hand that fulfills the requirement, a specific item or color, a different color, etc. And as a reward, take the cards that were already there and add them to your hand. Think of it as an exchange. Some spaces have extra benefits, drawing cards from the deck, adding cards to the other shops, or adding cards to your altar. When building your altar, start with the base. With two cards next to each other, you will be able to place a card on the next level. There are no cards next to the Pátzcuaro tile since these spaces let you add cards to your altar and draw cards from the deck. You even activate benefits for your rivals. The game continues like this until any player finishes their altar or draws the last card from the deck. At that moment, the remaining players can play one last card and final scoring begins. At the end of the game, your altar scores you points as follows. For the first level, choose three item types and gain one point for each item of the chosen types that you have in that level. For the second level, choose two item types and gain two points for each of them in that level. For the third level, choose one item type and gain three points for each of them in that level. Petal cards give you points for each group of the items or colors indicated as long as they are in your altar. Others give points by fulfilling the level requirements shown. The player with the most points wins!